Even the best accountants can make mistakes. It's not like I tried to bankrupt half the town in a crude oil fix and flip scam. Sometimes these things just happen. Luckily, I wasn't home when that ireful, torch-wielding mob surrounded my historic tutor. I had taken my family to one of the top five seafood restaurants in Fort Wayne, Indiana. On the ride home, I debated with myself if that Café au lait Crème Brûlée was truly made in-house. Just then, I noticed an exterminating inferno where my home once stood. Cops were there, but they joined in the revelry, breaking out in what appeared to be a Hellenic-era dance of Dionysian merriment. Wasting no time, I stopped on the pedal and got us out of there. Though the circumstances were tragic, there was a certain level of energy in the car. A high, if you will, from avoiding a fiery end. We even cheered upon hearing our names in the radio report, cackling as the broadcaster grimly announced we were presumed dead. Now, we all have theories on where one goes when they die, but never once have I weighed in where you go when you only presumably die. And yet, there we were due south, racing away from our upper middle class background towards the greatest fear we could ever possibly fathom. Poverty.